Hello everyone, how are you guys all doing? And today I am here with a Callisto safe spotting guide. I previously did a Venonata safe spotting guide, so if you want to check that out, I'll probably have a link somewhere on screen right now over to that guide. Uh, just before we get into it, for the most part, Venonatas is less PK'd and also more profitable. So if you guys are looking for profit, then you probably should go to Venonatas and check out that guide. However, you could be potentially going for like a Callisto cup, cub or something along those lines, and that's probably the main reason I would imagine anyone goes here. But nonetheless, maybe you just, you know, you have trouble safe spotting Venonatus and you need another way about it. So basically, the requirements you're going to need, you're going to need probably about 85 combat stats, more than likely. You could bring range at about 85 to 80 maybe, and use like a Black D hide with Ruby E and Diamond Bolts. That's not too bad either. It's a relatively easy safe spot with range too, so I'll kind of like point that out hopefully if I remember along the way. But this guy for the most part is for melee, so let's take a look at the gear we have. Right now you have full Varrock. I don't know why people use full Varrock, that just seems to be the best way to go about it. I always would have thought that, you know, like a God Sword or like an Abyssal Tentacle would be better and you wouldn't even have to have the... I don't I don't understand the use of full Varrock armor either, but nonetheless, that's what everyone goes there with, so I'm just going to take everyone's word for it. Then you guys are going to want more than likely a Strength Amulet or you can have a Glory. It's up to you if you don't mind risking 30k. There are a decent amount of PKers that come up here, so it's kind of annoying. You might want to bring a Strength Amy, but also for telling out, you could bring a Glory. Then Rune Gloves, Climbing Boots, Ring of Life if you want. Stuff that you won't be too, uh, you know, heartfelt on losing. So basically, you're going to want to protect item whenever you get PK. Don't try to, I mean, try to fight back, but if they're smiting you, realize they're smiting you. And, you know, just make sure that you're able to keep your own item. Don't run yourself out of prayer. So as far as the inventory goes, we have super combat potions. Well, I mean, super set, but... You don't need defense, really. You do get hit a little bit, but your food will be fine. You're going to need a magic longbow and arrows to be able to lure it. You can lure it without that. It just makes it a lot easier. Then you're going to need two prayer pots, potentially three if you just use piety and don't want to flick it. Uh, stamina potion just makes it a little more easier, and there are also poisonous spiders, so the antidote is for that. So anyways, there are two, well, pretty much two ways about getting there. If you don't have desert treasure done and you can't use the Anacarl teleports, you're going to want to teleport to the core player. From the core player, you'll run northeast. You'll hit the spider, this little area. And then you'll run exactly north. And this will be about where you're safe spotting it at. You're going to want to go right there below, below the little lava circle. So uh, if you're like me and you're ready to go, hopefully there's no PKers out there, but we will find out. So you're going to want to teleport with the Anacarl teleport. Um, most of the time I go into worlds like this, like PvP worlds, non, well, non plus one worlds, not recommended, but like a PvP world, something like that, it makes it a little less obvious that you'd be out here because not a lot of people go into PvP worlds attempting to PK in the wilderness because it just doesn't add up, but, uh, nonetheless, you're going to want to follow this little lava area to the south, you're going to want to stamina pot up, and as you can see, someone's already here, so just hop around, make sure, you know, you're getting your own world, so I'll be back here in a second. So I did only have to hop once, and I was able to find, or able to find a world to my own. So you're going to want to put on the magic longbow. You can pot up before or after. I would just recommend after, because there's no reason to really before. You're already stamina potted. You want to protect item whenever you're hopping worlds, just in case whenever you log in, you just get wrecked by a team or something. So you're going to want to come over here, hit Callisto, and you're going to want to run west. Whenever you get to about here, you're going to want to line yourself up with running this way. There's no exact spot needed. Just as soon as you see this yellow dot coming in on your minimap, you're going to want to run south as you saw Callisto. Sorry for my internet. It's a little it's a little laggy, which is why I try to avoid PVM. But you're going to want to run south around these rocks and hide behind this stump. Once you hide behind the stump, he'll kind of get caught up up there and then uh, you should be good for a second. So now you can run up here. You might get hit. You might not. It's just all luck. And you're going to want to stand right here and just get ready to run. So then you're going to want to run a little west of this rock. There's no exact spot. Typically, I just run up here and end up around right here. And then he should follow up here. Once he follows and stops moving, he's then locked into that spot. And you'll be able to kill him without him even attacking you. So there you go. As you can see, now I'm going to pot up, get a couple kills, see what I can get on this trip. Kind of do the outro to the video. Hopefully it helped. Um, if you are using range, the spot that we were running around right there, you can actually just sit behind and you can attack him with range from there. So you don't, you actually get to miss out on a step. 
But my experience, especially if you're flicking piety, using full Barox is definitely a lot more efficient. So hopefully this helped you guys. If you guys want to, I you guys can go back to the beginning of the video and there will be that link to the Venonis guide. If you guys want, it'll just be on my channel. So yeah, that's about it. I don't know. It's pretty simple. Uh, the main point I would say to come here would be for the Callisto Cub, or I don't know what it's actually called, but his, the pet, really. There's no other reason because the herb drops here aren't as good as they are at Venonatus. I don't, I think the HP is the same. I don't know if it's any less defensive, but for the most part, this is just as difficult to lure as Venonatus. Not that either of them are definitely difficult, but they're pretty much the same exact thing just with worse drops from this one. So then again, I will be back here at the end of this inventory. I'll tell you guys how many kills I got and, you know, just kind of give you guys a brief overview before I let you guys go. And there is the first kill done. So we'll kind of get an idea as to what we will get. 75 red dragon. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding? All right. Well, I guess that's something you don't get from uh, Venonatus, but that's an insane drop. All right. So I will go with the advice that I'm going to give you guys right now. And this goes for Venonatus too. Whenever you get a drop that's over probably 150 to 200k, I would recommend going and banking it. It's just worth your time to drink up a stamina potion, waste a minute running and banking. Then it, it it's it's just better to do that than to assume that you won't die, especially at Callisto, as there are a lot more PKers. So if you ever get a drop like that, I would recommend just running it to the bank, banking it, and then going back for the rest of the trip. But uh, I'll finish up the rest of the trip without getting any more food or anything like that, so you guys can have an accurate representation of what you might expect on an average trip, although it's already, you know, a little skewed because of this dragon hide, but nonetheless. Yeah, and this is pretty much what I'm talking about, so as you can see, we got a room pickaxe. Not gonna matter, though, because this dude's being a little fucking douchebag, so... I mean, you're in the wilderness, though. Oh, man, Jesus. I almost forgot to protect item. We're gonna see if we can get away, though, because why the fuck not? Try to outrun this dude. Oh, he's got he's got his team coming, bro. We gotta we gotta just deuce it. Look at this though. We're making the fucking run of dreams. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna actually get away from this man? Did you just let this happen? Well, we got a rune pickaxe, so I think that's about where I'm gonna end it. I I really do not want to do an entire trip here. This dude. Nice try, man. Nice try. At least you tried, buddy. Would I recommend this? Only if you're going for the pet, as I've said enough. It's, I mean, there's decent drops. Venonatus is better, though. Less PK. There's always clans up here. I think because of Callisto and Glory Chargers, there's just always a mass amount of people. So I'd avoid this area if you could. It's, I mean, it's, it's nice and chill until you get a PK, and honestly, there's probably about one every other kill. So, Venonatus, you can go trips without seeing a PK, so I'd recommend you guys do that. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment as to what I could do better in the future, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Leave a sub if you guys are feeling up to it. I am going to put out a couple progress videos here soon. One might already be out, so check that out. Nonetheless, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and peace.